Continuing on now with the muscles of the hip, we're going to be looking at the short lateral rotators and we're going to start with the piriformis muscle. So to review its origin and insertions, we know it comes off the anterior portion of the sacrum here and it runs to the greater trochanter. Its main action is going to be lateral rotation of the hip and we can combine this palpation and muscle test kind of all in one because we know this muscle lies very deep to a lot of bigger muscles such as the, all the gluteals. So when you do this muscle test, we're going to be trying to push the patient's limb outwards and they're going to resist that motion while we palpate from origin to insertion along the piriformis muscle, making sure we're getting deep enough and through that gluteal muscle as we trace all the way to the greater trochanter. Now again, if he contracts his glutes too much, so if I'm doing a muscle test, you can see right away, relax for a sec. So now I'm nice and deep, I can get to the piriformis, contract your glutes, it just pushes me right up out of the way. Now I'm completely off the short lateral rotators and it's mostly just glutes at that point. In this test position, um, when we try and push the patient's limb out, we're challenging the piriformis muscle. But keep in mind the close relationship between that muscle and the sciatic nerve because as I do a muscle test and palpate through this tissue, it is possible to get some numbness, tingling, and weakness go down the leg because you may be reproducing some piriformis or sciatic nerve symptoms. So it's definitely important to remember uh, what you're checking when you push in through all these tissues. There's not just muscles down here, there's a whole bunch of neurovascular structures you want to be aware of as you check and palpate along. For the piriformis muscle test, it's actually very similar to a Hibbs test position. So the Hibbs test takes the muscle, at, puts it to full length right there. So what we can do is we can effectively challenge the piriformis in various um, parts of its range of motion. So we can do a resisted one here, don't let me push your heel out while supporting across the sacrum and then we can move it in a little bit, hold it there nice and strong and then back into neutral and again let's take it all the way out. All the while you could still be palpating through the muscle, hold there, come back here, hold there and you can kind of just work the entire range of motion to ensure you're checking all parts of it if you're getting unsure uh, or, or mixed results with your various muscle tests.